you about math? Huh? You don't like math, do you? Well, math is very exciting to me, but it, I think it's boring to you. But it's not boring at all if you watch this video. Math has so many adventures and new rules. <clears throat> Today, I already have learned a new rule, and I'm so excited to tell you about that. Let's start with time zero. One thousand times zero equals zero. But why is that? Such a big number times a small number equal a small number? Let me tell you a story. It's a story too. Long time ago, there lived a king who named is King Zero. He's very serious. And he wear a special crown with a number zero on it. He is serious. Serious, but very kind. And one day, the king was the biggest number of all. So many numbers that mm, more than once, mm, no one can count it. Even aliens who have special powers can't. Oh my god. And then, he saw his village was lazy. There are trash everywhere. But in King Zero Village, it was shiny, they painted their houses, the streets were painted as rainbow colors. Oh, it's so beautiful that King, the king who had the biggest number of all, couldn't imagine it. He wanted to take that village and King Zero can have his village. Then he said to, to his soldier, prepare your sword, swords and do your best. He also prepared his swords and marched to King Zero village. And he took his sword and ching, ching, ching. What a surprise! King Zero won! That means King Zero can still have the village. They also tidied it up. And now remember that any number times zero is still the number zero.